which ought to be somewhat surprising. It certainly was surprising to me. A more recent study of how best to study. And this study looked at whether or not studying material four times, so study, 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 was better in terms of locking that information into people's minds, allowing them to use that information flexibly, which is an element of creativity, essentially giving them mastery of the material. Again, three groups. One group studies four times. They study the material one, two, three, four times. Then later, they take a test. The second group studies one, two, three times, takes a test on that material, and then later takes a test. The third group studies the material once, then takes three tests on the material, and then later takes a test. The performance on that final test was essentially proportional to the number of tests one had already taken on the material. So the more tests that you take as a way to expose you yourself to the material, the better you're going to perform on that material at some later point. After one exposure to new material, taking more tests on that material, even if you don't perform that well on those tests, as long as you're able to see the accurate answers to those tests and compare your answers to those answers, will lead to better performance on the ultimate test and retention of that material at some later time. But differently, it's not about how many times you study the material or how many times you're exposed to the material. It's about being exposed to the material, doing your best to focus and attend to that material, and then self-testing yourself on that material, not just once, but ideally two or three times. That's what really locks the material into your neural circuits. That's what's going to lead to the most durable change in your neural circuits that carry that material, that hold that material in your mind, what we call neural encoding. So the more times you test yourself or that you are tested on material, the better your retention of that material. As long as you learn what the correct answers to the tests are, even if you're getting you know, 40 or 50% or less accurate on those tests that you take immediately after the studying period, that's still going to be a better strategy than rereading the material.